What's going on guys, John here from The Real Talk, and as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to be talking all things movie pass, pros, cons, some tips, and even a hack that you guys can use uh, if you guys are thinking about getting movie pass. So without further ado, let's get started. So first off guys, I want to tell you how it actually works. All you got to do is go to the movie pass website and uh, you sign up for $9.95 a month. And uh, in about a week or so, I actually got mine in a week. They're going to send you this card and uh, this is going to act like a bank card or a debit card or whatever. And uh, so after that, you download the app. And then you go to your local movie theater and uh, you pick the theater and the showtime you want. And uh, then you go to the kiosk or to the person or lady and uh, you pay with the card. And it's as simple as that, guys. Uh, as simple as one, two, three. And uh, so, yeah, let's get on to my pros and cons. All right, guys. So starting off with my pros, it's that it's $9.95 a month. I actually had movie pass back when it was uh, $35. Bucks, and I had to cancel it because of a, a con that I'm going to talk to you guys uh, a little bit later. But... Now that it's $9.95, guys, I'm definitely going to get it again, especially now that I'm doing YouTube. Uh, I know that for other people who do what I do, you know, review movies on YouTube, it's going to be a great uh, benefit and help, and it's going to save us a lot of money. The second pro, guys, is that you can watch as many movies as you want as long as it's one per day for that month, guys. And again, for $9.95, that's sweet you know uh especially there's some weeks that there's like two or three movies that come out that weekend and uh like for me I, sometimes i have to choose like oh man like uh i really want to see this movie but this movie looks good too and then i want to review this one for the channel uh so now i can go go see all of them without having to worry about uh, the money in the bank and stuff like that uh so that's pretty cool the third and final pro, guys, is that it's no contract. Uh, you know, there's a lot of services out there. Uh, I don't know if there's more like this, but uh, that, you know, obviously they have contracts, like, you know, one year uh, for this or two years for this or six months. And actually, when I first started, uh, I keep wanting to get my card. Um, when I first started, it was uh, for a whole year. So 35 bucks uh, for a whole year. And then you slowly remove that. But that's one of the, the pros, in my opinion, guys. It's no contract. Starting off with the cons, guys, is uh, actually something I was talking about a little bit earlier. Uh, that you can only see a movie once per day. Uh, that may be good for some people. But for someone like me, uh, it's kind of a hassle. Because you had to wait literally 24 hours from the time that you saw that movie. Uh, so you can go see another movie again. So what I'm trying to say is like let's say i want to go see logan lucky uh like at 7 p.m I, I could go use the card and everything like that but let's say i want to go back the next morning to watch it again or to watch a new movie i can't because i had to wait till 7 p.m that next day so that can be a con guys um you know a little bit of a you know downside to this but i mean for 9.95 a month it's I guess you can get over it. Also guys, if you have a significant other and you want to purchase a ticket for them too, unfortunately you can only buy one ticket with this movie pass. You can go buy like two or three or something like that. But uh, from what I heard is that they are working on it. So hopefully we get that soon. Also guys, you can't see the same movie twice. So like I said, let's say I want to see Logan uh, Lucky like twice. Uh, I go at 7 p.m. The next day I want to go see it again. I can't because once you see it, it's going to register in your account that you already saw it and uh, you just can't see it. But there is a sort of hack that I found out while I was using the card and I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. Also, you cannot use MoviePass to go see IMAX or 3D. Uh, personally, I don't really care about 3D, but IMAX is kind of a bit of a bummer. But to be honest, I don't mind personally paying for that you know experience especially like something like dunkirk or something like that but that could be a con so getting to the con that uh, actually made me cancel the service in the first place uh is that you can't use it online and uh, with that being said is you can't use it for reserved seatings which a lot of theaters offer now and uh, they're actually like by default reserved seatings so let's say i want to plan like a movie date or something or just you know okay i'm gonna go to the morning or there's a movie that i know it's gonna be packed Unfortunately, I have to go to the theater and actually be there to use the app because uh, once you open the app, it says that you have to be like at least 100 feet from the theater. So that can be a hassle. I mean, you can work around it, I guess. You know, you can schedule, okay, let me go to the mall, you know, uh, and then go to the movies. But for me, I like to do it like in advance and I like to do the uh, take advantage of the reserved seating. Uh, and unfortunately, you can't with this card. All right, guys, so getting to some tips, I would highly recommend to you guys to use this with AMC Stubs or Regal Rewards so you guys can get like free movie tickets or, you know, free popcorn or upgrades faster. Now that it's $9.95 a month, it's just like stupid easy to get rewards quicker. Uh, and I think that's why AMC is like, you know what, like they're kind of against it. But for right now, they're not. So I say just do it <laughs> and take advantage of it. 
All right, so another tip I have for you guys is that let's say you're at the mall and, you, and you know, you're with your significant other or friends. You're like, oh, okay, let's go see a movie, you know, and you get caught up in the moment. Uh, you get the ticket and stuff and you forget to use your movie pass or you leave it at home. You can actually take a picture of the ticket and email them saying, hey, uh, I forgot to use movie pass or, you know, I left it at home or something and it will actually reimburse you. So that's pretty cool of them. All right, guys, so let's get to that hack that I was talking about earlier to see the same movie more than once. Uh, so all you gotta do is like, let's say you wanna see Logan Lucky, and I'm using that movie because it just came out and it's so awesome. Uh, so let's say you wanna see it twice, right? So when you see the first time, it's gonna register in your account uh, that you already saw it. So the next time you go is you do the same thing, but instead of getting a ticket on the app for Logan Lucky, you hit like, you know, the Hitman's Bodyguard or the Glass Castle or something like that, as long as you haven't seen those. Uh, and then you go to your kiosk or the person and you just buy a ticket for Logan Lucky. Uh, they're not going to check your account or anything like that. They're just going to get the card and swipe it, you know, especially if it's busy. Uh, so that worked for me 100% of the time. Uh, so hopefully you guys can use that to see the same movie more than once. All right, guys, so that about wraps it up here for me. Hopefully you guys learned something new and this video helped you uh, kind of make a decision if you wanted to get movie pass or not. But let me know if you are going to get it or not and why or why not in the comment section down below. I would like to hear you guys' thoughts. Uh, but also, guys, I do have a giveaway going on. Today is actually the last day to enter. Uh, so I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to go watch that video, find out how to enter. Uh, you guys can win a Blu-ray and a pair of movie tickets. Uh, so... Why not enter? <laughs> also, guys, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at The Real Talk, Talk with 2Ks. And as always, I'll see you at the movies. Later, guys.